And it's really about building out journeys for those customers. Mm -hmm. So to your question, Arena, yes, that time to value for that customer is going to be specific to their customer journey. And what we do is throughout that customer journey, we determine what we call moments that matter. And what that means is based on those KPIs, and I, I can't hone upon this enough, the KPIs that are specific to your customer. So within that customer journey that you have built out, and again, I love the fact that you're tying it to ICP because that's critical because that's something that is a mantra as well. But through that customer journey, based on those KPIs, your customers are going to tell you what their moments that matter are, i.e. those things that generate value for them. Yeah. And then once you determine what those milestones are, because they need to be based on SMART goals, I hate to be so basic, but that's what it is, is they have to be specific. You need to be able to measure them. You need to be making sure that they're actionable and more importantly, that they're relevant to the customer and that they're timestamped. So on that journey, figuring out the KPIs, finding the moments that matter, that's how you drive value for your customer. And again, to what Sahel is saying, once your customer hits each one of those milestones, you can use that to evangelize the successes for those customers. You can build out customer stories that you can sales can use, but also marketing can use, but it's all based on the customer journey. And to answer your question, the time to value for your specific customers should be different because they're going to have different KPIs. Thank you.